When we create new items, in many cases Account Edge will auto-fill the account fields based on previous item characteristics. We can also use the Copy From button to copy characteristics from another perhaps similar item. We can change these accounts to indicate the appropriate accounts for our needs, but once we start posting transactions, sales or purchases, we have to be careful about changing accounts. And once we start posting transactions to an item that is set as I inventory, we will not be able to remove the I inventory characteristic. The same holds true if an item is set to I buy but not I inventory. Once transactions are posted referencing this item, we cannot change it to I inventory. When all three of the characteristics are selected, Account Edge expects a cost of sales account to be associated with the buy characteristic. This account will be used when inventory items are sold. The cost of items sold will be posted to this account when sold. As you see, the Buying Details tab is available only when the I Buy characteristic is selected, and items will be available for purchase only if the item is marked as I Buy. An income account is used when an item is sold. The income from the sale of an item is posted to this account, and the Selling Details tab is available only when the I Sell characteristic is selected. An asset account is expected for items you inventory or track as assets. The value increases with purchases and decreases with sales. If we don't inventory an item but buy it, we'll need to indicate an expense account in lieu of a cost of sales account. Only this expense account and an income account will be used to record transactions. If at some time this item became inactive, we would check this box. If we check this box, the item will not be on the list of items to select. We can still create invoices for this item and it will show up on inventory reports. Our, this item, of course, will be active. The quantity on hand value reflects the current inventory count. The current value is the total value of all these items. Average cost is the weighted average cost of items. It's the current value divided by the quantity on hand. When items are sold, the quantity sold times this value will be posted to the cost of goods sold account. The value could change from time to time based on purchases and sales so care should be taken when editing purchases and invoices because they will be saved with the current values which may not necessarily be the original values committed items are items recorded on orders on order value is unreceived items on purchase orders and available is the item quantity available for sale